even though A2Z is standing behind the United. Is he? Yeah, that, that was A2Z. I didn't know that. Well, obviously sleeping on the memes, but uh, I think you're onto something here. I think that obviously the Renegades do have the, the individual prowess to do everything they need to do. You know what that music means, Trace. And it's time for us to quit BSing and get in the game. We're going to do just that overpass right now. It's going to be Emo Topical. Take it away. Thank you so much, Trace. Yes, I'm Topical. With me is Emo. We are into the first map of our second series today, E United versus Renegades. And I'd actually prefer it if I received the hate mail. Yeah, you, know, you can take I it. I thrive in the toxicity. It. Yeah, there you go. The AZR right now starting it off with a little bit of toxicity of his own as he's going to take down Marky, make it a, that much more difficult for the E United side to press on towards that middle. A little bit of USP action coming from him. Lee has now a little bit of contact towards that short pipe as well. But overall, E United now moving on to that B bomb site. Smoothie is already on the flank as well here. We got one player that's up on the pallets. Cutler, two of his own. He's got the flank right now as well. So E United advancing oh. forward. Oh my goodness. Jeez. JKS as well. He almost went for that jump shot over top of the sandbags. Yeah. Instead, just saw where he was and then swung out into the smoke, took the kill there. So Renegades yeah. take a very, very, very easy first pistol round, yeah. only allowing E United to just step foot on the front lip of that site. Yeah, Azur started that round off on the right foot, getting that first entry kill towards the middle, slowing down the round completely, then moving on to the B bomb site. It was like shooting fish in a barrel there for Renegades, simply dropping the E United players on their take. Not one, well, pretty much the final person, final member of the E United side making it into that bomb site, but by then it was too little, too late. Renegades up 1 0. So here's something I actually, we didn't even get to say it before, but if you're unfamiliar with food, this guy loves the scout, and he is amazing with the scout. He is lightning fast. He loves that extra mobility that the scout gives him, and as quick as he is with it. The interesting part about it out. is Vanity dropped it to him, too. So his teammate actually burned all his money to get it into his hands here. So Vanity going into the following round is going to be strapped for cash, most likely come out with a pistol, some utility, if E United do choose to buy here. But right now, Glocks, one scout, and E United moving closer and closer towards the A bomb site. Smuya is playing ambush. He spots the first shadow. He'll make the first calls. He'll take the first peek. One and quick two. Now they're around the corner. He needs some help. There's plenty of angles for his team to be able to help him. That's exactly what Clean Cutler round. does. Gives him a uh, little bit of assistance. Smuya gets three kills with the MP9, making a ton of extra cash. The richest player in the server. He'll go ahead and buy himself up a nice AWP. Instantly getting that into his hands right now, and it will be E United. See what I was talking about there, Dallas. As Vanity, he's going to be coming in with a UMP in tow here. Smoke flash as well. No AWP on the field for E United here, just the AKs. Let's see how they roll with this. Yeah, Vanity's going to draw the short straw. He's got that UMP, uh, as you were talking about. He's the one that bought the scout, right? Exactly. Right, so yeah, exactly. He's, it was a, a tactical investment, and Smuya wastes no time running straight up ahead to the top end of party. Cutler's giving him support as well at the connector, making sure he doesn't get broadsided. And right now, E United is flirting with danger Ooh, right now. Cutler ahead of this. Cutler is a bold man. Smuya going to flash in for him is the question here. Oh, do they spot his head? No, but Cooper's actually able to take down Cutler right now. That's going to draw Smuya's attention towards the middle area. Now he is looking back at the playground. No T's pressing on here. It is a man advantage for you. That is, that is really scary now for Smuya as yep. well. Oh, they throw a Molotov. It actually went over his head. So now he has no choice in even retreating right now. They round the corner. He gets the first. No time to be able to turn for the second one. So E United capitalize on this aspect. So not only did they get a two for one trade, they nice also kill. took the opper down and have put that into Cooper's capable hands. Yeah, this is a great position for E United to be in now with a four on two. Yeah, Moose is, you know, on the brink of death there with only seven HP. They only have to go up against two of the Renegades members, and one of them is Liaz, who's going to fall towards B now, leaving only Azer. And he's going to look for that save now as Bomb moves into sight, gets into the post plant scenario. Azer would be wise to save this AUG. Yeah, yeah, right now he's he's way back. He's probably crawling over Cutler's body. And he'll set up towards the T stairs, top of the ladder maybe. I'm surprised he's still advancing and soon to be encroaching on Moose's position. He is the weak player, so there's a chance to take some of the money out of E United's hands. He'll post up. He is looking for exit frags regardless. 
Cooper peering on up. Is he going to be able to pick this one up? No, he's going to be taken down right now. The op has been dropped. Marky now is able to trade it out, though. Op recovered into Moose's hands here. That is great for E United, who, well, essentially took that out of Smoothie's hands, brought it over to their inventory. Now they're going to run away with it. 2-1 is our scoreline, and Renegades, well, they're on to a save round here, Dallas. Yeah, quickly. So I, I'm, I'm surprised how rapidly the Renegades went into this aggressive move. Sure, mm -hmm. putting a, an opper up quickly into the party is fine and dandy, yeah. especially with the smoke there and even a pop flash to get E United's heads down. But pushing Cutler ahead yeah. in the third round like that it is... It was a very delayed push as well. Yeah, it's so risky. I mean, you have so much money invested in that because it's not only the money invested in that round, it's also the future rounds beyond that, like this round included. Mm -hmm. It just has a, a, a trickle-down effect. A well, butterfly effect. I can imagine that, you know, Smuya was peeking over middle, towards that middle area the whole time. He doesn't see anybody. No flashes are being thrown, no real contact, so he tells the Cutler, you know what, man? If you want to get aggro, I got you protected. Go up and get there. I got you protected if there's any contact. They're still playing together. So, yeah, it was a bold decision, but it was still a team-oriented decision at the end of the day. Yep. It unfortunately just didn't pay off. His Cutler got caught by Cooper, who was just camping in the corner waiting for him. Yeah, we'll end up seeing if, if that play is is redeemed by renegades it, yeah. do they continue this hyper aggression yeah. through it we'll see that the next time they have rifles which is going to be the, the following round uh, but right now e united are in firm command to try and tie this game back up it would be 2-2 two, two, and they shouldn't have any much any trouble getting past two deagles and a couple p250s yeah, and it does look like united is going to move very quickly towards this a bomb site we see the rotations coming in from the renegade side molotov's coming out but what's going to happen here this is just wise play for me, United. Just be thorough, you know? Don't don't run in here and try and get greedy and not use all your utilities. There you go. So it, you, you use maybe 2500 bucks in utility approximately getting into that site. Yeah. It Food ends up dying, but what you end up doing is you eliminate all those tight angles. Exactly. They mollied off the dice yeah. boxes. They mollied off the backside of the, the Optimus truck. They made sure that there was no opportunity for a P250 to be lethal yep. instantaneously. Yeah, it was, it was great utility usage out of United. Realizing that, yeah, it might be an eco round, but we got all this utility. Yeah, Why it. not burn some of it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, don't so. get greedy against Renegades. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. 2-2 two two is our scoreline here, Dallas. Does look like United's going for a fast B right now on top of that. It does look like there's only two Renegades members on the site to actually make a defense happen. Flash and thunder going on with all the pop flashes into the B site. And Ooh. right now, even though J.K. gets that kill, okay. he's not long for this world. It's Cutler 1v3. He's going to go ahead of the Molotov, gets food, but is broadsided by Marky immediately. So great play on E United, even though there was a ton of confusion in there. A lot of times, if you're lead player going through a monster, I mean, we heard probably five or six flashbangs as yep, they both traded, yep. both teams traded. If the lead player gets hung up, gets disoriented, or gets stopped up in the tunnel, uh, suddenly yeah, it's a train wreck. Done. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would like to commend E United for changing the pace so quickly into the match. We saw them run that default earlier, right? It pays off for them. Then they go on to the eco round. Now into another gun round. They say, you know yeah. what? Let's power right through right. it. Let's go fast. They might do the same thing here. So what this is going to end up doing, if they play fast... Conditions, though. Yeah, it's going to condition Renegades to the point where they're going to have to be using Pop Flashes and Molotovs into the monster tunnels just to start the round. Exactly. Exactly. And... For E United, this is exactly what you want. You want to condition your opponents early on to have to be worried about a, a multiple amount of attacks that you can do on them. And by the looks of it right now, they're going to get a free B bomb site. Cooper most likely going to pick up one or two coming out of this door here. Ooh. He's got one. He almost lined up the collateral. Good Molotov. Smart Molotov. Yeah, they're they're pinned in right now. Cooper's position is so, so superior. Having that Molotov in front of him, the pistols can't get close. It's, uh, there you go. He can see over top of the flames, the players coming out of the doors. He's, he's just got all day and a half. And again, great. only one casualty for E United. So even though the Renegades started up, what, 2 0, four in response by E United already. And they've shown that they have the. Uh, the dexterity to be able to play so quickly into into the B site. We'll see if they change anything else. This is again, the this great is Molotov this Molotov right is so fantastic. Yeah, it basically yeah. like essentially, I guess the Renegades' plan was right. Obviously, I don't know what their plan was, but I assume that they were trying to rush up short, just plow into the site, get as many kills as they can. Cooper drops that Molotov, keeps them in this limbo in short B. Eventually, gets them all picked off one by one. Okay, we're into another rifle round for the Renegades. United have shown. Their prowess, and they've held, they've had rifles comfortably Ooh. for quite some time. Leah's bumping down, possibly with some support from JKS. Maybe he'll just park himself into that back cubby. 
But all the while, look at this. E United doing almost a dry entry into the B side through Monster. It does. It catches JKS completely off guard. He's nice surprised. Shot. I mean, Renegades get caught with aircraft on deck. They do not expect this. They're still running headlong at him. AZR is able to stop this push, not allowing E United to secure anything around Graffiti. So there's a retake. Nice shot. Now looking more and more promising for the Renegades side. Oh. Excellent shot from Cooper. Not sure what he saw because Smuya had no indication that there was a shot coming his direction. Back to a 3v3. AZR rounds the corner, pre-firing his angles, checking cleanly. Marky's looking to close this round out, though. He hasn't come towards the short B. We're actually going to see the flank come in from Food as well. Molotov down on the ground. We are going to see the first member fall. Food goes down as well. It's all on to Marky, and he's unable to do it. As they're able to take him down, the bomb will be defused, and Renegades onto their third. Very, very sloppy, uh, I guess, uh, re-entry for E United back into this site. I mean, looking at that. Like right now, possibly. Uh, here's AZR defending that front line, not allowing E United to gobble up all the real estate in the world. But E United having two players on short, one player on monster, that's single Molotov, and they touch the bomb immediately. So yeah. all of a sudden, E United have this this need to re peek and spray into that smoke well, off site. Yeah, I thought the game plan for them was to leave the lurk towards short, on, which was Marky, right? Have him come out that connector door really late, leave two towards long, taking that fight because Liaz has already made his way up short and he was already lurking in that area, so I don't think he would have turned around for Marky. But, I mean, things go the way they go and E United unable to close out that round. Renegades on the board here. And a little bit of jump spotting as well. Yes, nice kill. Yeah, that was over towards short, I believe. Yes. So, defense solid for Renegades so far. Vanity, though, gets a response. That was a quick shoulder peek, I think, to JKS, who just had the headshot angle. Now they continue to just tap away at one another, but still, Renegades are having a field day with a one for three trade. Uh, e United even still split between Vanity and Cooper. They're miles apart from one another, but they do catch Cutler, who was overstepping his bounds, getting a bit far from any kind of normal territory that the CTs typically defend. Giving E United a shot. Vanity set up in a great position here to catch any aggressing CTs. Renegades, on the other hand, have gone into a full passive setup. You have Liaz in the pit watching the short come up. Then you got Azur watching the left side. If any of the T's move past the pillar, towards the barrel, that's where Azur's going to come into play. But Vanity now lurked all the way up. Look for him to open up this map. Vanity hit that sweet shot earlier. Cooper swinging around slowly. Going to keep himself scoped in. Right now, the Renegades don't really have all the... Uh, the, the <sighs> In position. A shot from Leas. I believe that was from underneath, catching Vanity yep. crossing the bridge. So it's only Cooper. He's got that first shot. 13 seconds left to plant this bomb. Leas can swing around this corner, but Cooper just hangs tight and sticks it. And this is wise by nice Leas to shot. just slow it down. Cooper. Oh gets my the third. goodness. 1v3 clutch from Cooper. I thought there was no way he pulls that off. Plants the bomb with like 12, 13 seconds on the clock. That I love the awareness wild. out of Cooper there, not to worry about the pit guy in that situation. Looks right towards the heaven, takes out the heaven guy, realizes now he's in the 1v1, makes a play on his own, doesn't stay static. He ends up peeking towards the pit, a great flick shot there onto Liaz, and E United's going to get their fifth. What a recovery of the round. At one point, I do believe it was 4v2, if I'm not mistaken, or even 3v2. Yeah, that was, uh, I never anticipated Cooper to be able to pull that off. That was, I, I counted him out, and I'd been casting Cooper for uh, over <laughs> a year now at this point. I should never, never not believe Cooper yeah, is on top of it. Yeah, you've watched the rise of a lot of these players on the Quite United side. Oh, yeah. Moose especially. I mean, I've, I've been casting games with Mooses way, way back in the day. Yeah, yep. it's great to see them now finally making it to the big leagues here where they're actually finding themselves two rounds ahead of Renegades, Dallas, and it's been a tremendous effort out of the United side. Let's see if they can keep this pace, keep this momentum going in their favor. Now they're up against some pistols. Little bit of armor purchased up, but nothing serious. So Renegades, they had previously stacked everybody together in, in their eco round. They pushed everybody down through the, the connector into the blue door, and they all ended up dying at that point. Uh, but now they split, and they're looking to see if they can get any kind of pick, because if they don't, suddenly E United's money is good enough to be able to withstand another loss, which means Renegades would need to win two in a row convincingly with their own rifles so that their own economy doesn't run into shambles again. So E United is actually in a really commanding position right now. 
by the looks of it. E United favoring the short pipes. They are moving through bathroom right now. A little bit of contact being made by with Smuya, and Food's able to capitalize on that and pick up a kill. Cutler does find one of his own, quickly traded out by Food for his second on the round, and it does look like E United getting ready to hit this A bomb site here. You got rotations in though, so Cutler yeah. and Smuya's sacrifice was while as long as they can manage to convert one kill at least and that's going to be all up to Leah's Ooh. got it at distance too and Ooh. another 1v2 now and he swings out wide Start trying to press the scary. issue now that was a great round for the renegades they only invested minimally a couple of deagles and uh, uh cz in there yep and they managed to pick off three players that's fantastic so that like that keeps them within arm's reach of e united instead of letting them run away with it having that round cushion Double op setup coming out from the Renegade side. JKS picking up one of his own here. Smuya obviously with his op in tow as we're so used to seeing here. But I'm wondering what E United's going to be doing here. Are they going to opt for a faster play, which we've seen them do multiple times now? Are they going to go for that slower default? It does look like they're favoring the B bomb site right now as we're seeing two players take the short. They have the lurk outside monster. They just have one player in food creating a little bit of presence, playing it a little bit passively towards mid. Dust settle. Food catches that shot from Smuya, but it caught a lot of concrete first, so he's able to just brush that one off. Good pop flash in. AZR is able to swing out super wide from that. Food able to clear his eyes actually almost gets the kill in return. Food has pushed back the entire A side just by himself. One flash, a couple AK shots, and he's moved this entire A bomb site back into the passive position. And Smuya missed the shot against Marky there, so right now, with the Renegades missing a bunch of these shots, probably feeling a little bit uncomfortable where their positions lie. And you're exactly right. Even even Smuya backing off of the bathrooms right now. So after that first salvo skirmish, they decided to call it quits, go back into something a little bit more conservative on both sites, and try again. But it is going to be the B site that will be struck. Liaz and JKS are going to be your immediate defenders there. Those rotations, though, however, are a ways off. So he's going to be the nice first flash. one to be in position to be able to come back from that. JKS oh. clears his eyes at 19 HP, almost pulls the trigger against Marky. Liaz is back into the pit right now, but Vanity coming across the bridge will be able to secure that frag, and it's a 3v3. Smuya in that heaven area, able to pick up one as Cutler does take down Vandy. It's all on to Moose now in this 1v3 scenario. Unable to do much. Azur finding the final kill onto him. Renegades onto their fourth now. Able to build a little bit of cash as they're keeping three people alive in the round. Yeah, I mean, those, those retakes are fast, aren't they? I mean, similar to the pistol round that we saw, yeah. the Renegades are able to mobilize so quickly. It all, I'm going to have to watch for it next time. That Are the Renegades actually anchoring anything? Because I feel like their rotations are so fast and so uh, immediate with brute force. Like, they have so many hands on deck for their retakes. Yeah, and that's simply because they're playing the retake situation on the B-bomb site. They're keeping a more passive play. That round, you saw Liaz in the pit by himself. You saw JKS by the pillar. They're, they're, they're assuming that they are going to be taking the B-bomb site from them, United is. And they're just going for that passive play. A couple quick flanks later, a couple great shots from Smuya in the heaven. The retake is theirs. Oh, but fast. Yeah, I mean, Smooja is now trying to run out of this. What a smoke behind to be him. In. He fades into the smoke safely, but right on his heels is all of E United. They aren't brave to be able to mimic that movement from Smooja. They, they hold fast, oh. wait for the backside of that smoke. Smooja takes a pop shot as he retreats, continually slowing down E United. And they do. They hesitate out long, and they hesitate in the bathrooms as well. But they have shoved the oh. Renegades back. Azur was going for the jump spot behind the bombsite box, and Cooper punishes him for that. Three on five is what we're going to see right now. United holding strong as Smuya evens it up onto Moose right now, and look at this. The audible has been called, the bomb moving back to the B bomb site, and only JKS there in towards the heaven. Oh, and he saw the player squeak out to the pillar, and he actually exposed himself to food quite a bit. Luckily enough, he stays alive and keeps the Renegades in the round. Though, so if this doesn't play out well, this might be this the save, save call. Yeah. You can't go for the double off retake here. No, no, it was, it's just too awkward. It's too unwieldy. Too much of sight has been given up as yeah. well there. Sick new smoke there on top of the dice boxes oh, as yeah. it begins oh, to yeah. fade. Yeah, top bomb smoke. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You saw you saw him jump up over top of the dice boxes. That's yeah, the there stop you go. That right. Yeah, exactly. You now you can't use that that jump peak. Six rounds on the board, about to be seven for E United here. As Renegades find themselves saving this double up, bringing it into next round, and hopefully starting the following round off on a good foot here. I'd like to see those ops 
get a couple early entries on opposite sides of the map, maybe turn it into a three on five right off the bat. I mean, these rounds are playing out really, really fast, it feels like. There's no hesitation from E United. They yeah. set that pace early with that, that B tunnel rush, and they've pump faked a couple yeah. times on one side or the other, but those those pump fakes are quick. They, they push into the bathrooms and they immediately turn about face and go right down through connector and execute right on top of one another. And, and this is something that Vanity and Food, especially um, coming from one of the MDL teams that they used to play for Singularity, that they talked about was the fact that they play really strong when they're just going fast, when they're able to aim. And they play it to their advantage. They're not afraid of changing the pace, which we saw it earlier in this match, and they're not afraid of slowing it down. But right now, the speed that they're putting into their game is paying dividends for them. Right now, Moose is walking wounded. AZR is holding the connector halfway up right now, yep. and he's got a trio of teams coming up. That's Ooh. bomb spotted as well. Gets two, looking for the third, though. Good effort. Marky will take him out. That's still a valued trade for the Renegade side, considering Cutler was only starting this round with a Deagle. You're essentially even strength at this point with just a, yeah. a bit of a bit of a bonus player. They still got to worry about those double ops. They haven't found out where those ops are sitting at. And there's one as Smuya is going to take down Marky towards that short pipe area. Lee has to back him up right now. Does look like Moose dropping a couple nades, creating a little bit of presence, but he will be recouping, regrouping. Ooh. As Cooper gets a as, nice kill. As on Cooper Smuya. recoups a kill right there. Exactly. That's a big one too. I don't know if they know that there's a second AWP on the field. They'll run into it if they do manage to go towards JKS's A site. But you have advanced CTs. Cutler's in the bathrooms right now, and then yeah. Leah's is still defending right on the B site. But they're heading towards Cutler. Yeah, the unfortunate part is the time isn't in their favor. So Cutler hears all of this at this point right now. He knows that they're coming towards Long. There it is. He's making the call out towards his teammate JKS, who's now AWPing it. And he should be able to pick up this kill on these T's coming out. Oh, yeah. Cutler's in a field day on the 6 o'clock. The flank will wound Cooper yeah, to 50, but JKS just finishes the job with assists from Smuya from the grave and Cutler out there as well, who was on the quick flank. Maybe so if right. they had another 20 seconds, they could have done a little bit more walking, maybe found Cutler, who was, you know, looking the wrong way for an easy kill. But unfortunately, with time not on their side there, they had to run the entire way. Cutler makes the call. JKS arrives. Easy round for Renegades. Yeah, that round was secured when the clock hit, like, 20 seconds or so, and they decided to go towards the A site. It's just that advanced position from uh, Cutler with the Deagle. He was just early warning, and he's able to exactly. put the other players in position to make effect and fire for effect. So, again, we've got Cutler in the uh, connector right now. He's got three players beneath him. Can he replicate the effort that was played last round? He smokes it up and falls back. It's just at the same time, United decide as well not to go through that smoke either. United's in the virtual same position as the Renegades were in the last round. This time, one player on the Deagle, that being Vanity, and they have AKs behind that. So it's it's going to be a little uh, not f as finessed on these entries. It's going to be a little bit more brute force, such as Vanity just there you go. walking straight up through connector. I'm surprised he even got a shot or two off. He's going to have reinforcements with Marky now coming in. Ooh, is that nade going to land? No. As they're moving just away from that sandbag area, just far enough away that that nade doesn't even touch him at all. Defaults have changed on the B site. We have three defenders here, and mm -hmm. one of those is Leah's that's way back to the greats on an angle that E United haven't seen yet. 45 seconds on the clock. E United just pushing up towards this bathroom area. Not really looking for a pick in towards this B bomb site here, Dallas. It looks like it's going to be an A execute to end this round. And you know what? We're actually going to see the rotation, I do believe. No, no rotations coming in. So this will be a two man hold. Cutler's Cutler and Smuya. Yeah, he's advanced. Great first shot from Smuya to slow down food. That's going to be bomb, too. Cutler needs to hold his backside. He was probably hoping that Smuya would be able to assist him. But quickly, though, Vanity and Moose are able to overwhelm the first two defenders. And AZR on the rotation is caught out. Man, JKS pushed through that smoke and just got winded. Yeah. 3v1 now, all Lee is. And he's saying, come on, guys, we had this round all locked up. It looked like so. But now him in a 1v3 clutch situation is going to be difficult to pull off, especially with his position known, and he recognizes he's flanked. Able to pick up Cooper just before he goes on to the save right now. Is United going to recover this AWP that Smuya had, though? Yep, that's exactly what Vanity's doing. He's moving back into the bank area. He's going to pick up that op, and then he's going to hightail it out of dodge. So here's the thing. United's money's not pretty, 
But the fact that they've now put eight rounds up on the board so so quickly yeah. is is fantastic. So uh, it's a CT sided map, and they're against a team that that technically should be eclipsing them, even though Renegades uh, is double stand in and. Uh, it, Looking at these two teams, before this match, I would say this is going to be a much closer match yeah. than yeah, our yeah. INTZ uh, energy game last. So I, if, if, this, if anything goes to a third map, it's this, this series. These, this series. Yes, right. The, the one thing I'm going to say, though, is yeah, NA teams fun. typically on overpass, they seem to struggle on CT side. So United, yeah, they might have a really good T side in front of them, getting eight rounds already, most likely going to hit nine here. But that CT side, are they going to have the cohesion? Are they going to be able to play as a unit strong enough, well enough, to actually close this match out. Got some aggression from the Renegades for long A. That's Leah's up front, JKS immediately behind. That is the only rifle that's in play as Leah's is M4 saved from the previous rounds. Man, United are really putting a hurting on this team so far. Picks that first frag, and Leah's has now snuck his way into playground. He could broadside food, there you go. which he will. So now this is a great trade, even so. But what Renegades want to do, they can't seem to do it right now, is recover that rifle. Cutler's running at it at 2 HP. He's got that AK. I don't think they'll go for the round just because of the timing of this bomb going down right now. They have no information on any other players across the map. They haven't cleared connector. They haven't really taken a look towards short. So it will be a save coming out. But we do see JKS, just with that deagle, looking to see if he can take down any more guns, see if he can get himself involved in the round in any way. Yeah, he's he's the 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 extra player, just yep. holding on to these rifles. And it's fortunate, too, Cutler actually has armor and utility that I believe he picked up off of the body of the of food. So. Yeah, it would have been nice to see Renegades pick up that middle kill on food a lot earlier. That would have given them a bigger opportunity to actually rotate across the map. Fortunately, it took them a little bit too long to actually get anything going with that kill, and that allowed E United to move into the B bomb site, get that plan uncontested, and go on to their ninth round, Dallas. It seems daunting, man. You've picked up nine on your T side so score. far. Cooper score. What's he said? He's oh, sitting on lead. Nice. He is sitting on lead. He's sitting on lead. I don't think I've ever seen that before. What? No, that's you act like that happens every day. <laughs> it, it happens more commonly <laughs> than it uh, than you think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, it's impressive. Lead score. All right. Final round of the first half here of our first match of a BO3 series. Renegades five rounds on the board. E United at nine. Can they make it ten, or will Renegades pull this within a three-round deficit? It's it's been hit or miss with Renegades. The only two rounds that they got consecutively were the first two pistol plus one. Yep. And that was, uh, I believe, an eco round for United in that second one. So yep. we're into a pretty tough oh. spot, especially now that Cutler just got absolutely destroyed. Okay. What a flick from Smuya. That's the only redeeming thing about the trades right now, because that should have absolutely have been either a five v three or a four v three favored to United, but instead, due to the quick flicks, oh. Smuya secures two frags. Ozer actually just saw food walk by him right here. He's gonna pick up a very easy kill. Actually, jumps a little bit while doing it. Marky now is he able to pick this up? No, but he does get a little bit of noise made. It's interesting. Now E United are actually deficit positions are known. And JKS swings out yep. for Moose. Only Marky stands on this last round. There you go. His tracers have been triangulated back through the smoke, and it is a fortunate uh, sixth round for the Renegades to be able to recover that one. Otherwise, a 10-5 is a stretch for them to come back in the second half. That was some great opting from Smuya there, really to keep the round in their favor, because yeah. if Smuya only gets one that gets taken down, we're put into a 4v3 scenario, looking for the trades there. Really going to be hard-pressed for the Renegades' side. E United unable to really do much in that round. Great opting from Smooja is going to get them their sixth. We move on to the second half now, Dal. E United have to come out with this pistol. Yeah, so let's cut it to a quick break, and when we return, we'll finish up overpass in that second half. You guys are watching the ESL Pro League Season 9. Hey, yo.
All right, ladies and gents, we are back for the second half on the first map of Renegades versus E United. E United actually putting up some strong numbers, nine to six in that first half. Yeah, great first half out of E United. Definitely coming out strong on their T side. Now they're moving over to CT. And earlier in the, in the first half, I was mentioning the fact that NA teams, especially the lower tiered NA teams, they, they sometimes come out struggling on their CT side. So it's going to be interesting to see how E United performs on this. Will they be able to close this match out? Will they be able to take Pistol? Or is Renegades going to bring this one back and uh, take them down in map one? Right now you've got a good conga line of the Renegades in the connector, pushing ahead. Moose is right at the top of the stairs, and then Cooper is backing him up as well. It's actually a actually a trifecta of players with a nice crossfire set up to the top of the stairs. So E United have actually strategized quite well to deal with this, but one of those has just now backed off. Vanity oh has left goodness. Moose out hanging. Cooper is now the next up. This might actually come apart like a daisy chain. Vanity's watching the outside of the bathrooms, and Cooper works his way inside now has not been spotted. Lies one to the back of the head. Smuya swinging out wide. Cooper is trying to keep his head on a swivel. Survived and tucked himself deeper into the bathrooms, wondering where his help oh. is. Nobody has come to assist him. Vanity from a distance starts picking them off one at a time and ends up E United on a favorable exchange. And actually looking over towards that B bomb site, we are going to see Marky boosted right now. So if JKS actually comes out towards B. We're probably going to see Marky pick up a very easy kill. Unable to convert on that one. Cutler now moving in with the bomb. Oh, able to get the cross off. Bomb will go down, but it's going to be a 1v2 to here, Dell. Uh, might go down. Yeah, oh. Cutler doesn't make it in time. Uh, he just got pinned into the site, I and mean, that's what happens when you end up at a numbers disadvantage and your CTs, who were initially playing retake, B, yeah. they were boosted up there. And I think Renegades recognized that once they had gotten across, they realized, oh, we can actually get in here and plant the bomb. But at that point, you've already lost the round. You're, you've lost the rate trades, and they're going to run at you. They've exactly. got extra bodies to expend. Exactly. So we are going to see one flash on Azur here. Rest of his teammates, nothing bought whatsoever. So expect a very fast round out of the T side here, just getting right into the faces of the E United players who are waiting towards middle. As we do see Vanity with that AUG in tow, what's he going to be able to do here? I mean, look at the look at the SMGs on the field for E United. Yep. They, they want to catapult their money. Now, here's the thing. If they invest all this money and they don't really net the kills, like, say, Vanity picks up five kills, yep. Uh, yep. they don't make all that much cash in play. And then what they have to do is they have to play those weapons against AKs, and they end up at a disadvantage. It's what is essentially uh, an attempted burner round. But it becomes more and more difficult. So there's Vanity picking up the first. Looking for the Ooh. second and third. And finally, an SMG comes in with a frag. Cooper gets the next one as well. So there wasn't really that much money made for having four SMGs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some great shooting by Vanity, though. Switching up his target mid-fight as well. Switching off one player that he's done 90 damage to, finishing up another, then going back to him. Bold decision out of Vanity here. Here we're going to see it, actually, here. Switches off, switches back. Almost able to pick up the fourth as well, but Cooper runs in, picks up two of his own. E United with a great start to their CT side. Um, you need some SMG kills that lead into stealing AKs I think they're going to get aggressive with them. This is almost like to the point of, uh, it's like a greedy posture from e United to try and win this round. Get more done with less. There's the first one AK on the deck. Irrecoverable, though. It's out in the open. E United aren't going to be brave enough to try and pick that up for a free, essentially would be a free body to hand to Renegades. Cutler's way out wide on long A. The rest of his team has gone into the connector. I love this. They get super aggressive to start the round now, and they're full passive as they're rotating Moose over towards that B area here. We do see one lurk from Cutler as he's making his way towards the long side of bathroom, but really nothing much else going on for the Renegade side. As they've taken short B control, they have a player lurking towards connector, and it's going to be Cutler to open it up with a great shot onto Vanity. Let's see where that bomb goes now that they've killed one on the A site. Be interesting to see if Smuya grabs that and runs off uphill. That probably is going to be the call to it. go towards the A site. No, they're actually going to stay. They're going to let the rotations flourish out of the e United side. Marky taking down the long player in Smuya here. And we are going to have JKS creeping all the way out. Man, are they doubling down on this B site? Marky just shoulder peeking that corner. And e United has sent two players to the A site, leaving Marky alone. He finally dies. Rotations coming across. 
the, uh, the graffiti already. Nice Great kills. shooting from Food. It's all Liaz, 1v2. He could easily win this round. Soon, though, the clock will betray him. He's pushing Food, will paint him into the corner, and Moose was oh, sectioned off by a smoke. He may have been spotted. 13 seconds. Now the clock is against Liaz. No bomb. Moose able to convert on the kill. United onto their 12th now, and that was a great effort from Moose aggressing at the start of the round, starting his round off by the party area, ending it in heaven at B, picking up that final kill. 12 to 6 is our scoreline. Renegades without a dollar in their pockets yeah, that, to buy up. I was, again, that was a really greedy strat by E United just. St uh, strategically when it comes to their money expenditures. I mean, yeah. They had all SMGs. They end up winning that round. Well, sorry, not all SMGs. One AUG. But still, they end up picking that round up. And in fact, they've got AUGs and an AWP here as well. This might actually be correct, because if I was on a United side, I'd say, okay, let's put one or two SMGs back onto the field. They're going to be weak with no armor at all. But instead, Renegades have gone for a force buy right now, and these AUGs are going to chew up the armor. Food aggressing that long is able to pick up one kill. Quickly traded out, however. We are going to see two members of the E United side playing in this A area. Cooper towards the sign. Vandy on top of the bomb site box. And we are going to see a repeat towards long. Okay, so Smooya is taking the AUG out of Food's cold dead hands. And now Renegades. Well, they do have armor. Yeah, the things I, can happen. It really could. And Vanity's addressed. I mean, I would rather see E United play this reactionary rather than active themselves on the CT side. The Renegades still really outgunned here. Oh, oh, that was below the belt. Smoothie gets the trade back. Okay. Loose falls out there as well. Two players died at the Optimus truck, though Cooper shows himself at the bank, picks off the kill, oh, and wounding JK has through. Oh, the second Jeez. shot. Did he connect the second? It's down to 25 HP. Oh. The flick's not strong enough. Marky is left standing alone, but he's not all by himself. He's got JKS and Smooya still on the field, and he's got a long stretch of recovery. He's got a kit, one smoke, but pulling out the smoke would be a death sentence. Takes the first, looking for oh. JKS on the second, 14 HP. Wow. He's down to his sidearm. He's going to try and press the issue. He knows time's low. The shadow actually sells, and he turns back Damn. to the right. The, sh the shadow was there, and it may have actually come from a call from one of his teammates that he's on the right side of the truck. But what a clutch from Marky. I don't... Uh, I, I, I hate to criticize the play there from Smuya because he did a tremendous effort throughout that round, but just overextending, you know, trying to take down Marky in that position gives Marky the opportunity to actually frag him, and then, like you just said, the shadow gives it away, Marky able to take down that final kill. But that was a great round from Smuya. I think he could have left it into the 1v1 scenario, right? Let JKS play by himself. JKS, burn time. I'll play out for closing the round out. Instead, he looks to close the round out himself. Allows Mark to pick up a frag. That's knows right. where JKS is after that. Just to, kind of, just to kind of summarize that, when the clock is, is to your favor heavily and your advantage 2v1, a lot of times we, we disagree with saying, oh, don't feed him one kill at a time. In that instance, you can give him 1v1s because each 1v1 is going to cost him more and more time. Exactly. Yeah, just exactly. to summarize what you were exactly. trying to do. Exactly. You're the burning few, the bomb. Few, yeah, a few shorter words. <laughs> yeah. Put it so eloquently, right? <laughs> so all right. This is still all, all scopes for E United. Man, that, that all changed really. Changed the meta, dude. Changed everything. It changed, did. Changed everything. JKS is taking short B control. This is massive for him, but Food says no. This area of the map is mine. Absolutely decimates him. Smuya with a nice recovery to even it up onto Cooper. I mean, it always seems like Renegades are just playing that trade game. It's just, it's, it's always playing from behind. It really is. Yep. It's E United are drawing first blood consistently, and the Renegades are always just caboose. It's a tough spot to be in. Renegades backing up. They'll reset themselves. At least the one thing they got going for them is they have a rifle round in play. E United splitting their defense to both sites. But look at Marky. Look at Marky just taking the this initiative. Is huge. I hope he stays at least towards this monster area here. It does look like they've rotated everybody off of B, though. So oh, this is, is gonna actually going to be huge. Is he going to get caught out in the open? No, I think he's going to find one. Come on, Marky. What do you got for us? He's got one, he's oh got two! Oh my goodness, how quick was that? He's turning back. Looks and he's the got third. the third! Through the chain link fence, and the Renegades get caught before they can even execute. 
The clock's even against him. Marky switches rifles, showing his prowess with both the AUG and now choosing the AK. AZR is really stuck. I mean, where, where he was standing, he had short tunnel, he had monster tunnel, and he had, of course, the flank from Marky still existing by the disco. So EU United have dominated their CT half, so far undefeated in this half. That was great. That was great from Marky. Simply, that's all I can really say. Aggressing, let alone aggressing and getting that information that, hey, the monster area is clear, but wise enough to know that yeah, they can come back. This isn't a 100% call. Let me just wait on any type of push that they could do. In doing so, he's able to find three very, very nice frags, Dallas, and secure the 14th yeah. round for E United. Really thin angles, too. I mean, instant reaction times. Renegades are going to try and pull an E United strat, just rush B, and they are already to <laughs> sight. But Marky, continuing his efforts from previous, picks up two more. And this is a short-handed Renegade side. Look at the side. flanks already, though. Moose is already flanking on top of that. Fuge joining him here. I like that. So Marky backed off of competing on the initial fight. Then he <laughs> takes two of his own. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, that's about it. That was being outmaneuvered, 100%. United recognized B-Rush because Marky picks off two kills. So yep. These guys are over towards Toxic in record time. He backs off of Graffiti yep. and just says, all right, come into the site. We'll play retake. It's 5v3 anyway, and we've already got flanks in play. Yeah, no, yeah. essentially at that point, Dallas, like you just said, the flanks. That's the yeah, big no part rush. about them. No rush. No rush. Let's get you, passive. You Let's rushed. No rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Marky off to a great start in the series. 22 frags right now is what he's sitting at. The next person beside him is Cooper. I mean, this is exactly what you want to see out of here. When we were in the green room, someone was like, if somebody drops 30 bomb, they'll win. We might not even get to the 30 bomb because how dominant United has been so far. Yeah. Yep. Sure, you're, you still win the game, but you won't be hit 30 if you're, you're trouncing all over your opponents. Great opening frag out of Vanity here. Cutler going to be uh, taking a seat for the remainder of this round as Cooper sends Liaz to join him and sends Smuya on the way. JKS and Azer. Yeah, and Food found the bomb just now. Uh, oh, Renegades are outmaneuvered two oh, or three geez. rounds in a row. Only AZR and JKS, and they so are so disconnected from this fight, whether they know it or not. The noose is tightening quickly around them, especially with the bomb control that United have. So that should be a quick, quick map one. Yeah. I mean, United, we were talking about this, the fact that, you know, Renegades not having their full lineup could be, you know, detrimental to their success here. And as Moose takes down JKS, it's going to be 16 to 6. Something that I don't think either of us could have predicted here. Tremendous showing from the E United side as they're going to win map one. Yeah, and they do it with not allowing their opponents to get ra uh, consecutive rounds that 